So a function f of x equals x cubed minus 3x squared minus 4x plus 12. And we're being asked to find the possible rational zeros. So you start by looking at the factors of the last one, so factors of 12, over the factors of the first one, so factors of 1. The factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. And the factors of the first one are just 1. It's always factors of the last one or the constant term over factors of the leading coefficient. And if you work this out, if you do 1 over 1, you just get 1. 2 over 1 is 2. 3 over 1 is 3. 4 over 1 is 4. 6 over 1 is 6. And 12 over 1 is 12. So those are the possible rational zeros by the rational zero theorem. I'm going to try to type them all in, and I'm going to try to use this plus or minus key to see if it works. So plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 4, plus or minus 6, and plus or minus 12. Let's see if that works. Yep, it worked. Use synthetic division to test several possible rational zeros in order to identify one actual zero. Okay, so what this means is that you have to check each of these with synthetic division. So we'll start by checking one, so check one. Usually you start by checking one and negative one, so how do you check it? Well, you write down the one here, and then you use synthetic division on this polynomial. So the coefficients would be one, negative three, negative four, and 12. Those are the coefficients. Then you take this number and you bring it down, so 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. You add, you get negative 6. Negative 6 times 1 is negative 6. You add, you get 6. So this is not 0, so this fails. Whenever you get 0 here, you know that this is the answer. Okay, so basically you just pick any of these numbers and you just use synthetic division like this. If you get zero, you're done, and you plug the answer here into the homework. If you don't get zero, then you got to keep going. Let's check negative one. So checking negative one, again we write down the negative one, and then we write down the coefficients. One, negative three, negative four, and twelve. Those come from here, right, using basic synthetic division. You draw the line. Bring down the 1, so 1. See, 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. We add these, we get negative 4. Multiply, you get 4. Add these, you get 0. Multiply, you get 0. No! Fails again. <laughs> All right, let's try 2. Let's check 2. So check 2. It's the same thing. So 2, and then 1, negative 3, negative 4, 12. So bring down the 1, so 1, 1 times 2 is 2, add, you get negative 1, multiply, you get negative 2, add, you get negative 6, multiply, you can go in really fast, oh, we get 0, yes, you can rejoice, this means that 2 is a 0. So basically, you just keep using synthetic division over and over again until you get 0 as the remainder. When 0 is the remainder, then you know that you have found one of your zeros. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and type in 2, beautiful stuff says, use the zero from part B to find all of the zeros of the polynomial function. Okay, so two is one of the answers. To get the rest of the answers, what you do is you look at this piece here, okay, this piece right here, and you want to start with one less. So we started here, this is a three, it's x cubed, so it'll be x squared, right? It's one times x squared minus one times x minus six equals zero. Then you have to solve this, okay, so this should factor, and it's, again, it's always one less. Like if this was a 5, this would be a 4, okay? If this is a 10, this is, this is a 9. In this case, this is a 3, so this is a 2. This should factor, I believe. We need two numbers that multiply to negative 6 and add to negative 1. I think negative 3 and 2. Yeah, that does it, right, because negative 3x plus 2x is negative x. So here we get two more answers. We get 3 and negative 2. So those are our zeros. And then we need one more zero, right? The one we found up here. So also 2. Because the question wants all of the zeros, right? So all of the zeros would be 3, negative 2, and 2. 
And that's it. Hope that made sense.